Welcome to my how-to series for Google Sheets. Today, in this step-by-step -step guide, I want to show you how to add a dynamic mini calendar to your spreadsheet. In this example, I will be adding a mini calendar to my activities planner spreadsheet in Google Sheets. To start, you will need to create a new spreadsheet or a new tab. Then, select columns A to I. I will use the paint bucket to add a background color to this space. This will serve as a guide as I am creating my dynamic mini calendar. We want to resize the selected columns. Right click on any column of the selection. Then, select Resize Column. Enter 21, then click OK. Now, we can start building our calendar. Select B8, then while holding down the Shift key, select H8. Click on Merge Cells in the toolbar. Later, we will enter a formula here that automatically updates the month and year based on selections from drop-down lists. For now, we will simply enter month and year. Center this text and make it bold. I want to start the calendar by adding the days of the week. These will be the first letters of the days, and will eventually update automatically based on a Monday or Sunday selection. Calendars typically have six weeks integrated in them. I want to create a visual space for every day of the calendar by selecting all six rows for the weeks, then select the paint bucket and choose Reset. I am also going to add a border around this portion of the calendar. Now, we want to add a section to create the different selections that will update the mini calendar. The first row will be to select the year, and the second to select the month. Like I did previously, I want to create a visual separation by selecting the section and removing the background color. Then, select cells B17 to D18, click on the arrow next to Merge Cells in the toolbar, then select Merge Horizontally. Next, do the same for cells E17 to H18. Enter year in the first cell, then month in the second. Here, I will enter the year manually. It can be changed in the future to update the calendar. Then, right-click on the cell next to month and select, drop down. Add every month of the year in the menu at the right. Select Advanced Options, then under Display Style, select Arrow. Test the menu by selecting a month from the list. Let's take a moment to adjust the formatting. Here, I will add a section to select a Monday or Sunday start. Select B21 to H22, then reset the color fill. Merge the cells in row 21, then, enter Monday slash Sunday start. Merge the cells in row 22, then, create a drop-down list with two options, Monday and Sunday. Select Advanced Options, then under Display Style, select Arrow. It's time to enter the formulas that will update the calendar automatically. The first formula will be in cell B8. We want a formula that will combine the month and year. This is the formula that I used. I want the days of the week to update automatically based on the Monday-Sunday start selection. 
Enter the following formula in cell B9. The if part of the formula checks if you selected Monday as your start day. If you did, it returns the number 2 which represents Monday. Otherwise, it returns 1 for Sunday. The text function then takes that number and converts it into the full name of the day. Finally, the left function takes that day name and gives you only its first letter. Test this formula by changing the Sunday-Monday selection. Copy and paste the formula that you just entered into cell C10. To add one day to the first day of our week, we simply need to add an opening parenthesis and weekday before the if function, then add a closing parenthesis, and plus one. Copy and paste the formula that you just entered into cell D10. For the next formula, replace plus one with plus two. Now copy this formula to the cells next to it by dragging the small circle at the bottom right of the cell. Then, for the one after replace the plus 2 with plus 3, and so on until the last day. You can test your days by selecting a different day in the Monday-Sunday drop-down menu. Select cell B11. Enter the following formula. It is a little tricky and it took me some work to get it right. This formula figures out which date to start the calendar with. First, the date function creates the first day of the selected month and year, using the values in E17 and E18. The match and choose functions work together to turn the month name into a number. Then, the weekday function checks what day of the week that first date falls on. If your week starts on Monday, it uses a setting that makes Monday the first day. Otherwise, it uses Sunday. The formula then moves backwards to the start of that week and adds one so the calendar begins on the right day. The formula displays a full date. We need to change the formatting of the calendar cells to display the number of the day only. To do this, select cell B11. Click on the 123 menu in the toolbar. Select Custom Date and Time. Select any date format, then delete everything except for day. Click Apply. In cell C11, enter B11 plus 1 to add one day. You will need to repeat this process for all six weeks of the calendar. Once you have entered the formula in cell D11, you can copy it by dragging the small circle at the bottom of the cells. You will notice that I use this trick a few times to speed things up. We've now completed the calendar and the day numbers are fully dynamic. There are still a few more things I'd like to show you to make it even more fun and interactive. Let's automatically highlight today's date in the calendar using conditional formatting. This will also give away the exact date I recorded this how-to video. While making sure that all the days of the month are selected, go to the toolbar, select Format, then select Conditional Formatting. Under, Format Cells If, select, Custom Formula Is. Enter the following formula. Select the color of your choice under the paint bucket menu. Click Done. Now you can look for today's month and see if today is highlighted. Now, I want the days that are not within this month to be a lighter tone. To do this, select the first row of days in the calendar, then click on Add another rule under Conditional Format Rules. Under Custom Formula is, enter the following formula.
For the color fill, choose none, and for the text color, pick the shade of gray you prefer. Let's do the same thing for the end of the month by selecting the two last rows and adding another rule. Enter the following formula. The last conditional formatting that I want to add creates a highlight on a selected week. This is really useful for my daily planner to show me what week I am planning for. Stick to the end and I will show you how it interacts with the daily planner. I need to add a drop-down menu with 6 weeks selections. Merge B6 to H6. Then right-click and select drop-down. Add week 1 to week 6. Select Advanced Options, then under Display Style, select Arrow. To highlight a week based on the week drop-down selection, select the cells for the first week. Go to Format, then Conditional Formatting. Click Add Rule. Choose Custom Formula Is. Then enter this formula for the first week. The row isn't fully highlighted because the new rule isn't taking priority. To fix this, we'll need to move the new rule to the middle of the list. Click on the last rule we created, then select Add another rule to start applying conditional formatting to the remaining weeks. Change the range to the second week. Then, in the custom formula, change week 1 to week 2. Repeat this for all of the other weeks. Now that we are done, we can try this highlight feature. Let's add a title and adjust the formatting. A fun feature that I like adding to my spreadsheets is today's date or the actual time. To add today's date, enter equals today open and closed parenthesis. This is my mini calendar integrated into my automated activities planner. If you like what I do and want to help out, you can visit my website store where you can purchase all of the spreadsheets that I have created over the years. Also, if you liked this tutorial and found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tips on staying organized and productive. Let me know in the comments what you'd like me to create next. I'd love to hear your ideas. Thanks for watching and happy organizing!